Hey everyone, how's it going? It's the Cubaholic. Today, in this video, we're going to be talking about an interesting topic, how to solve the Rubik's Cube with your feet. This video is going to consist of a few parts, uh, talking about techniques, toe tricks, what moves you're going to favor, and how you should go about solving. At one point, I was 50th in the country, mostly because there weren't that many feet solvers. I haven't done this that many times, but I average around 2 minutes 30 seconds. It's not that hard to get faster. Without further ado, let's crack on. When you solve, you have to inspect with your feet. I had no idea until I got to nationals last year and I had to start inspecting with my feet. So I'm gonna get a scramble going and we'll take a look. I'm a white yellow cross solver. I can already see kind of that white's gonna be the go-to cross because this is offset over here. By one move I can bring this up and then the uh, red piece at the bottom is kind of easy. So how I'd go about it is I'd bring the cross to the right because you're gonna find that righty moves are really easy with feet. Because what I like to do is hold down the left section with my left foot and then do like an R prime or R with my right foot. First, we're gonna move the cross. Uh, since I'm doing a right move, right R primes are the best moves. So we're gonna hold it and at this diagonal angle, we're just gonna push, okay? got that lined up and with feet you have lots of time to be efficient and it's good to be efficient because these feet moves are kind of hard <laughs> so I would do a U. U's aren't that bad now I'm gonna do a lefty move see kind of harder bring this last piece down right prime easy peasy all right we've got our cross done that's very nice and uh, I would have suggested looking ahead during that part but we're just kind of talking about the technique here so do a quick scan I can kind of see my first pair here uh, it's going to be these two pieces, so I'm going to bring them to the back because, again, righty moves are very, very ideal for feet. I see this is double sexy move from the back. Um, that's a lot of moves, kind of, but that's all right. Uh, they are all RU moves, which isn't too, too bad. If you want, you can rotate so they're all R moves, but um, it's going to get to the point where that's just too much rotating. There we go. And again, you would go on to your uh, next pairs. Okay, now we're gonna talk about some technical stuff and some hardware stuff. Uh, for your cube, you want a solid cube. I'd suggest a heavier cube. You don't want those modern light cubes. And you want one that's not gonna corner twist or pop. Like, don't use your Feng Shui Shuang Ren version two. That'd be the worst example. <laughs> I'm using a Mo Yu Tang Long here. It's a nice solid cube, not very fast, which is a good thing when you're starting out and it doesn't corner twist. And make sure it's kind of flexible because you're gonna be doing some crazy stuff there. For your algorithms, you're gonna want some feet friendly algs. For your, uh, you're not gonna want like a lot of F moves, like the G perms suck. You're gonna wanna use those RUD moves or maybe even do like a T perm or an A perm then set up to a U perm or something. Just make sure your algorithms are short, sweet, and two gen is highly recommended. From now, I would suggest just kind of doing a few example solves, you know, get some scrambles going, just solve a few times. I'd say do it 10 times, you'll be down to around um, three minutes at least. So yeah, you'll just be getting it, you'll develop your own tricks. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is the Cubaholic. Happy feet solving and peace out.